So, it's Sunday, so yes, I'm going to be looking a little bit rough. So, before anybody say anything, this is my third time doing this video with my new Sony CyberShot camera. And I have now officially realized that, yo, the difference between a camera phone, like this giant right here, and an actual true camera. So, yes, I, I know I need a shape up, and yes, my dress need to be redone, but we're not here to talk about that. Today, today we're here to talk about um, Kendrick Lamar's new joint, Humble. Um, today was my first time hearing, hearing, I was rolling in the car, and I'm going to have to say this, yo, that joint was definitely fire. It was, it definitely piqued my interest, because, yo, I came home, rough looking at all, pulled it up on YouTube, then listened to the song about three or four times already, and yo, definitely, definitely, definitely a great joint. This right here is probably going to be the some song that y'all the people's going to be bumping uh, for some 2017. Just to be honest with you, um, I want to right quick want to play my favorite verse in the song. The, all the verses in the song is hot. The song is deep. Definitely, you expect you would expect nothing less from, Ken, from Kendrick. But this is just my favorite verse that I have a question. Hold on, right? Your whole life, I'm so fucking sick and tired of the Photoshop. Show me something natural, like Afro-Ball, Show me something natural, like ass with some stretch marks. Oh, oh, wait, 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 Took a shot at Nikki. Is Kendrick like, yo, loading up the sniper rifle and just, just taking a shot at Nikki too? Um, but aside from all that, like, Kendrick Lamar coming back, I want to say it like this. Yo, there's a lot of y'all rappers right now who might just want to take the whole summer off. No, no matter of fact, take spring and take summer off because, y'all, with Kendrick dropping stuff like this right now, I don't. Like your odds too quickly. I if I was y'all, if I was the um, double XL freshman 2016 class, Lil Yachty, Uzi Vert, Cody Black, Designer, and all of them, I wouldn't say shit really. I would not. I really wouldn't say shit. I I just bow my head, do like the song says, and be humble, and keep my mouth shut, and just ride this shit on out till like spring get back around. Now. I know a lot of cast is going to listen to this song or listen to Kendrick's whole new album and say the same thing they say all the time. Oh, uh, it's good, but you know, you can't listen to Kendrick in the club. You can't really bump Kendrick when you're rolling in the car. Yeah, um, I don't know. Maybe y'all don't know this. Maybe y'all don't really understand this, but yeah, rappers who primarily just do club music or radio play music aren't long for the rap world. They don't get to be up on posters with Biggie, Pop, Pun, Proof, Big L, Easy E. Y'all know, y'all know the poster. They don't get that type of status. They pretty much damn near just like one and done, or a few hits and then they gone. Look at Chingy, Chief Keef, Waka Flocka, Soldier Boy, shit, Tracy Lee, all Mad Cats put out club singles. Um, you can throw. D for hell up there, you can throw academics up there, uh, them franchise boys, yo, they made great club music, but club music don't get you a long career. You don't get to be in the game as long as Jay-Z, Nas, T.I., Luda, Eminem, um, who else? Kanye West, hell, even 50. As long as they get to as long as they've been in the game, by sitting there and Doing nothing but club and radio play music. You gotta have a diverse rap portfolio. You gotta have something for the streets. You gotta have something for the people who like spoken word. You gotta have something for the club heads. You gotta have something for the radio play. You can't just be a one trick pony in this game. Your career will not last. Your career will be on a constant state of life support. It's, it's not gonna work for you. It's really not. If you don't believe me, check out check check it out. Just look look at all the cats who've done just nothing but club radio music trying to get that quick buck. It's not gonna work. But I will tell you, I will want to say something else. Yeah, 
Summer 2017, music-wise, I've been impressed. J. Cole with False Prophets, Bring Ma with Sheetha, Rick Ross, Better You Than Me, and now Kendrick dropping this humble joint. I feel like, yo, the true artist is coming back, showing respect for the game, and shutting down all the bubblegum, nonsensical hip-hop and whatnot. I mean, that's just my personal opinion. And plus, I'm still trying to sit here and figure out, was that a shot at Nicki Minaj? I need somebody to tell me. Yo, leave me a comment in the comment section below. Tell me if you think that your boy Kenny was sitting here taking shots at Nicki, or am I just bugging? Also, yo, let me know how y'all feel about the state of hip-hop. Is, like, the new era of rapper coming out, like your designers, your Pusha T's, your Lil Yachty's, is they cool? Is they good for hip hop culture, or is they pretty much just like flash and pan, one and done type cats? Um, yeah. Don't forget to um like this video, please like it. Um, share, definitely share, and don't forget to click that subscribe button. Even you don't even watch another one of my videos, just click the subscribe button anyway. You'll be doing me a favor. Um, as always, you can follow me on Facebook, follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter, and um, yo. Go on YouTube, fire can you, Lamar's new joint humble, listen to it, think about it, peace.